We are continuing that conversation of load shedding and how it's turned our world completely upside down. Now, going off the grid is a term that continues to gain popularity worldwide. But how feasible is it for everyday South Africans? Now, this morning, Stephen Hoy from First Energy Solutions joins us. Stephen, thank you very much for joining us this morning. That's great. Thank you. Lovely to have you. Um, it's great. When you hear that, that kind of pessimistic outlook on life, you must be thinking, for sure, because this is my <laughs> business, this is my space. I love the fact that the majority of people who are arriving in this pivotal position are purpose-driven. You've been doing mm. this for a while. You haven't just yes. jumped on an opportunity now that the market's been opened up. Correct. You've been thinking about how to structure off-the-grid life for a while. Mm. Now the environment around that conversation is changing. But what mm. does that mean when you think, okay, let's take someone off the grid? What does off the grid actually mean in the context of South Africa? Look, going off the grid is basically disconnecting yourself from all utilities. So in other words, no ESCOM, no city, and you're going to be completely reliant on your own power and your own generation. So that presents a lot of problems. <coughs> First of all, is you can't phone anybody to say my power's out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, your problem. Yeah. 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 And you just cut the market in half. Yeah. Correct, yeah. <laughs> so, so going off the grid is, is really about um, a lifestyle choice. Um, whether you're deciding to, to really work on saving the environment <clears throat> and also to um, make a difference to, to cost of living. Yeah. But it's going to require quite a lifestyle change, you know. Mm. No dishwashers, no big fancy washing machines, you know, and it's going to cost an enormous amount of money. We spoke yeah. about that a little bit earlier on in terms of the cost of kind of safeguarding yourself around load shedding. And yeah. when you talk about the term going off the grid, I mean, for us, South Africans, I mean, how feasible is that really? Not at all. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's Short and sweet. Yeah. It's, it's not at all. For the average South African, it's just not going to work. Um, the amount of battery and the amount of solar that you need, and the amount of space that you need. Yeah. In the average house, there's just not enough roof space to actually put enough solar on. And then the part that they don't tell you is now you're going to actually need a, a big diesel generator to do your backup as well. Because yeah. what happens if your solar doesn't work? And, and the, the expertise, the systems to manage this flow of energy, Correct. beautiful new front line, have had the opportunity to see the bigger picture, the tip yeah. of the spear, if you will, mm. really excited about where we are going in that mm. sense. But it's going to need to get traction where people need it most, i.e. the poorest of South Africa's population are going to need to have access to this at some point. And we know there's some deals and there's some great yeah. initiatives, but what does the solution in your kind of experience and understanding mm. look like? for everyday South Africans. What should we be focusing on as the next step, do you think? It's, it's really about what you want to achieve with your, with your uh, system. So a lot of people just want lights, TV, internet. Yeah, and pretty the much basics. Happy. Yeah, that's it, that's yeah. the basics. And it's also it's about affordability. Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of South Africans out there have got a bit of money, so they've decided they want to just carry on living. Yeah. Yeah, but none of that really involves getting off the grid. All of it involves mm -hmm. still using our grid. Our grid is our backup, our grid is our our secondary source of power. Yeah. So our solar then complements the, that power, but it does not uh, make us completely independent it, of it. For yeah. sure. Which brings us to, to hybrid <coughs> systems. Yes. Now, I think just if you could unpack hybrid systems for us, and I mean, yeah. you know, what are your thoughts on a hybrid system you mm. know, that you can look at for your home to kind of safeguard us from load shedding? Yeah. Hybrid is, is the future. That's mm. where we're looking at. Um, basically, what the hybrid system is, is previous solar systems were used to save money, so they would work with the grid called them grid-tied systems. And then we had inverter systems, like with a UPS for your computer, that was a UPS battery-based mm. system. And some clever person put them both together and called it a hybrid system. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the best of both worlds. So that's the best solution for, for South Africa at the moment because okay. more the, cost -effective it's much more cost-effective. Yeah. And also, you, you can, we sort of call it pay-as-you-grow, yeah. where you can install your it's hybrid modular. system. Yeah, mm. and you can install your batteries, then you use it as an inverter. And then later on, when you do get some more money, then you can add some more solar. And then you can keep adding solar as you go to eventually get to the point where your cost is minimal and your life carries on as it always was before load shedding. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love that. One piece of advice personally from mm. someone who's lived in the space on the front line and now has to be kind of our true north to take us <laughs> out of the darkness. Well, what do you live by when you look at your own economical and electricity ecosystem? What advice would you have for those that are feeling the pinch right now? It's very tough. You know, I've been sort of independent of power myself for, for many, many years. Um, when I go and visit friends and that, then you start to see, you know, where the wow. reality kicks in and, you know, how difficult it is to actually live without power. Mm. Um, and one has got to start with looking at 
it's the most efficient devices you can buy for your house. Um, your A++ type products. Um, look at just the way you live as yeah. well, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, the way you actually operate all your equipment, your pool pumps, your timing, even yeah. going to as far as driving to the shop, you know. Yeah. Do you have to drive to the shop three times in one day or can yeah. you do it once? You know, it's, it's reducing that carbon footprint. It's better for the environment. And at the end of the day, if you start to live like that, it's actually better for your pocket as well. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It's taking responsibility, mm -hmm. ultimately. Yeah. Stephen, thank you very much for joining us this morning. I mean, you can only imagine that Stephen and his team has got a wealth of knowledge. And if you want to tap into that, just log on to their website, firstenergy.co.za. It's my feel-good worth show. Next, we're going to open up that door a little bit. And we've got Mike Fannefelder from Lighthouse. Remember that name, a business that provides solar bulbs and other solutions, a more affordable lighting solution for inside and outside your home during load shedding. And because they are just so cool, we brought Grant Hines in to um, stick it into his mouth to light up the bulb <laughs> because it's just so interesting. We've been making him do this all morning. Uh, Mike, congratulations uh, for being here. And I say Thank that because you, there was a timing involved with most of the guests that we have on the show. Mm. Your time has come, my yeah. friend. But it didn't just happen. You've been building towards this point for a while, and now you've got a product that seems to offer almost the perfect balance. Lighthouse seems amazing, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Graham. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, it's a privilege to be on the show. Thank yeah. you. Listen, let's start talking about solar bulbs. I mean, why is this a great solution? Let's yeah. throw it out there yeah. for, for everyday South Africans. So I think we've been speaking a lot about how, like, getting um, big in solar installations on your house and big inverters and generators it's can be quite up. expensive. Um, and this is a solution that is a lot more affordable uh, for a much lower upfront cost to provide any sufficient light to any area um, within the house. So... It's a solar bulb string lights. This is one of our main sellers. We've got a range of different products. Um, but what's great about this product, I can say a few things. The one thing is, living in South Africa, the one thing that many South Africans do is leave on um, lights on the outdoor area for security we reasons. Have to, yeah. we, we have to do yeah. it, yeah. And I think what's great about these lights is that with the solar panel, it's got a built-in light sensor. So it actually goes on at night, and then it turns off when the sun comes up, and then it charges within the day. So you've, you're saving, obviously, electricity, but you can place it anywhere in the house, even an area where it has a window or outside in your veranda. And because it's a string of lights, it actually can really light up an area quite nicely. Yeah. Sure, I like that. I absolutely love that because it gives mm -hmm. us those accessible tools that we can use, and it also absolutely looks beautiful. Mm. How do we go about when we want to set up something mm. like this? What do you take your clients through in terms of setting up yeah. their own solution? Because I know this is only one of the yes. kind of many, many products, tools that you yeah. can use. Yes. So, yeah, how we've designed our lights is that it must be very DIY and easy to set up. So, sure. with these um, string lights, I can even open up and show you guys quickly. Um, so, as you can see, I've actually already screwed in all the bulbs just to make it a lot easier for the show. But you've got 10 bulbs on the string, and then you've got a it's solar... A 10 meter 10 meter string of lights. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Then you've got a solar panel here, which, if, if you wanted to, you could actually charge up through a micro USB, but obviously the solar works, works, works yeah. well, just in case you had maybe yeah. some really a bad weather. rainy days yeah. or something, yeah. Exactly. Um, so yeah, the, the setup's quite easy because you've got a fork that can go into the ground, so you can put the solar panel into the ground, or you can actually the yeah. screw the solar panel into a panel or a wooden yeah. pole, let's say. And then when hanging up the lights, you can either just hang them and string them. You could, if you wanted to, use a screw and actually attach it onto the panel, or even some people use a lead wire and then they use just cable ties to just put I'm it thinking, on the lead wire. Go steampunk, yeah. bro. Go steampunk. Yeah. Yeah. Metal editions, look, absolutely yeah. brilliant. Add a nice little yeah. addition to your home as well, making it look yes, nice. Yes, they look beautiful. Uh, yeah. Quickly, Grant, you also brought a couple of things very uh, with you. Yeah, that's a great solution. And some of these yeah. aren't solar solutions, but you do get light bulbs with batteries in them already yeah. that charge when. Uh, for instance, the load shedding is not on. When there is power. Yeah, yeah. when there is power. So that's why that goes on when I you when I touch the positive and negative. Um, you are the grid. <laughs> so so you get different kinds. You get obviously the bayonet ones and the, the down lighters. So they will just replace your traditional bulbs in your house. Mm -hmm. um, we've got this. Uh, this is uh, it's a it's a power supply UPS yes. that's designed specifically for 
routers. Mm. So you keep the internet on. I think every South African that has got internet needs one of these yeah, as one absolutely. of the first yeah. purchases that they I've get. also lost two routers through this. Yeah. Exactly, this <laughs> saves your router. There we go. You lost two routers, this would have been your solution. And they also, they also uh, supply uh, power over Ethernet for um, mm. your security cameras and so on. Um, so you have your string okay. lights outside and have yeah. your security cameras on to have a look and see what's going on. And then, of course, we spoke a little bit about it earlier, but the surge protector. Oh, I think sure. um, just because of what's happening with insurance and your big appliances mm. to save your TVs and your fridges yeah. and your washing machines and mm. so on, having a surge protector, they're inexpensive. They're, it's, it's a begrudging purchase because nobody yeah. wants to get this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. But I think it's necessary to do it. And then, obviously, yeah. I, I love what Lighthouse are doing with, you know, these solar panels. I've got something similar at home, yeah. but I want to upgrade to that. But you create, like, outside environments that exactly. just look friendly and nice. So that load shedding isn't like, oh, no, it's yes. load shedding. You're like, it's the, it's a it's a cute... I remember when load shedding started and candles were like... Yeah, it's romantic. Yeah. 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 Like, we, we, we tie the candles now. <laughs> <laughs> we want string lights. Yeah, yeah we want... <laughs> I think that's been yeah, a big motivation for Lighthouse is actually setting that atmosphere. And, yeah. and that goes into our mission is creating better, brighter moments. Um, so we, we sponsor a lot of events and weddings. And I think, you know, we want to create outdoor areas, indoor areas, make it a space that during load shedding, it can actually be a joy. You know, bring a family together, okay. human connectedness. Um, yeah. Because we own our baggage in South Africa, baby. Yeah. We, we assimilate, yeah, we take it on board. <laughs> and we'll and make then we, it nice. Yeah, yeah. and then exactly. we create amazing solutions. Yeah. So kudos to you, my friend. Cool. I look Thanks, forward to yeah. the next evolution of your business because I think you are going to help a lot of people. Uh, Lighthouse, that's L-I-T-E, house.co.za if you want more of these kinds of solutions.